So for me, SWAT is water. SWAT is precision. In one word, I would describe SWAT as beautiful. SWAT stands for surface, water, and ocean topography. SWAT will be observing the elevation of water surface in the ocean, on the land. The water surface height will allow us to assess the water storage in lakes and stream flow of rivers. Our water is one of our precious resources. SWAT is unique because it is the first global view of our ever-changing water supply on Earth. SWAT's main instrument is called CAIRN, which is the k band Radar Interferometer. CAIRN is what sets apart SWAT from other missions. It's a unique instrument that we're flying for the first time. The CAIRN instrument uses the two antennas, which are spread out on either side of the spacecraft, in order to bounce signals off of both of those to get a much larger view of the surface and being able to do it in very high resolution, higher accuracy, and also a wide swath so that we're able to measure large tracks over the Earth in a relatively small amount of time. SWAT is a Pathfinder mission using new technology to address transformative questions on climate change and its impact on our environment. We're collaborating with CNES, the French Space Agency, for these programs, but we're also helping the global community to be able to contribute and collaborate towards making our home planet a better place. SWAT will make our models better, and our understanding the water budget helps us be able to steward that precious resource. If water is out of balance, we could face droughts, and it could also lead to floods. SWAT is going to be observing water in oceans, and ocean science is essential for understanding sea level rise and climate change. Now we are facing a time that we need to be very precise. Therefore, we can accurately predict what will happen in our coastal cities 50 years from now. Understanding that it is a finite source and we can't rely on that forever is something that's really important. I'm just so excited and can't wait to see how it impacts the lives of others. Without really understanding the Earth, we cannot protect it because we know that the missions that we work on are going to have an impact on our children and our grandchildren.